when a lobster loses a fight, because they're fighting all the time for dominance, let's say, in their hierarchies, he kind of crunches down, so he looks smaller. When he wins a fight, he stretches out, looks bigger. And so he's signaling to other lobsters the tally of his victories, mm -hmm. let's say. So if a lobster has won a fight, he's more likely to win the next fight than you would calculate from having a tally of all his previous defeats and victories. And if he loses a fight, then he's more likely to lose the next fight. So that's Matthew principle at work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you think, well, okay, here, part of the kicker is, well, the lobster runs on serotonin, neurochemical. And if the lobster loses, the serotonin levels go down. And if he wins, the serotonin levels go up. And when the serotonin levels go up, he stretches out and he's a confident lobster. And one of the consequences of that is if a lobster loses a battle and you give him the equivalent of antidepressants, then he stretches out and he'll go fight again. So antidepressants work on lobsters. Huh. Right. 